Welcome to another Forcepoint Tech Talk episode. In this video, we will go through how to create an endpoint discovery task using the Forcepoint DLP endpoint solution. The endpoint discovery component of the DLP suite is used to identify and report on sensitive data at rest. As always, please like and subscribe, and leave us a comment below if you have any ideas for another video. Enjoy! The Forcepoint DLP endpoint solution is primarily used for preventing accidental or malicious data exfiltration attempts, but can also perform local data at rest scanning of the device it is installed on. Unlike the network discovery components, which are used to identify sensitive information on servers and other non-endpoint systems, the endpoint does not require additional licensing for the discovery capabilities. It is built into the DLP endpoint licensing. Now that we know what the endpoint and endpoint discovery is used for, Let's dive in and configure the endpoint discovery task. The first thing that we need to do is create the policies that the endpoint discovery task will use. Navigate to Main, Policy Management, Discovery Policies, Manage Policies. This will show us a list of all the existing discovery policies. To add new policies, click the Add button in the top left. Let's start by adding some predefined PCI, PHI, and PII policies. Select the predefined policy button. If this is the first time you have been to the predefined policies, then you will be presented with a wizard that asks you to select the region and industry that applies to your organization. These selections will refine what predefined policies are shown to you and the selections are editable later. For now, select the most appropriate options for your organization. Once you have made these selections, you will be presented with a list of predefined policies that are most appropriate for your organization. Select some of these that you would like to use with the endpoint discovery. For now, we will select some general compliance policies such as PCI, PHI, or PII. Once you have made your selection, click the Use Policies button on the bottom right. Now you can see the policies you selected on this page. The blue icon represents the policy is enabled. From this screen, we can also add custom policies. If you select the Add button again, you will see the other option for custom policy. If you are looking for sensitive data that is not a standard compliance policy, or if you are looking for data classification labels or fingerprinted data, then use a custom policy. Input the policy name, then click Next. The Conditions page is where you will be able to define what this policy will look for. As you can see here, there are a lot of different options. Use the patterns and phrases to look for specific custom keywords or to use any of the predefined patterns and phrases. If you have integrated a data classification tool, such as Bolden James or Microsoft AIP, then you can also select the file labeling to use the imported labels as the condition. The last option here worth mentioning is the fingerprinting option. If you have set up a file or database fingerprint, then you can use this as the condition for the rule. If you add multiple classifiers or conditions, you can then define the logic of how the rule will trigger using AND, OR, NOT operators. On the next screen, we can select the action plan or what the system will do whenever it finds sensitive data at rest. You can edit the action plan to see what it does whenever the policy is triggered. Make sure that you switch from the data loss prevention tab to the discovery tab when you are editing the action plan. For the purposes of this video, we are focusing on the endpoint discovery actions. Here you can see there are two primary options, run endpoint remediation script or apply file labels. A remediation script is an executable run by the endpoint agent whenever a discovery incident is triggered. Common uses for remediation scripts are to copy or move files that are found by the discovery scan. In this video, we will not dive into creating remediation scripts, but there will be some resources in the description below to help with this. The other option in the discovery action plan is the apply file labels. If you have integrated the Forcepoint DLP solution with either Bold and James or Microsoft AIP, then you can have the system automatically apply labels to discovered files. If you do not set the system to perform the remediation script or apply labels, the system will still be in audit mode and will provide you a report of the discovered files. Once you have finished defining the severity in action, click the finish button in the bottom right. Now that we have finished creating the policies that we want to use with the endpoint discovery, we will create the endpoint discovery task. Navigate to Main, Policy Management, Discovery Policies, endpoint discovery tasks. This page is where you will create and edit the endpoint discovery tasks. To create a new one, click the new button in the top left. Set the name of the task and then click next. On the endpoint host page, you can select specific endpoints for the scan to run on if you do not want it to run on all of them. You can also set exclusions if you want this scan to run on all but a specific subset of endpoints. 
The scheduler option allows you to configure when the scan will run. It is recommended to run these scans during off hours so that it does not interfere with the use of the device. There are some other options here. Scan only when the computer is idle will be helpful so that we do not scan when the user is active. The other option here is to pause scanning while computer is running on batteries, which again will just help to make sure that we're not interrupting any important tasks or using the precious battery life. The policies page is where we select which policies we want this task to use. This is where we define what we want the scan to look for. The file filtering page is where we can get more granular with the search. Here you can specify which file types you want to look for specifically. It is set to all file types by default, or you can specify the age or size of the file to scan. The advanced page includes options relating to when a full scan should be performed and, a very important option, preserve original access time. The second option is a key setting to make sure you have. Since the scan is accessing the file to view the contents, the last access time will change after the scan is completed. This setting will preserve that last access time so that the user is unaware that the file was accessed. After you've finished configuring the endpoint task, click Finish. Then click Deploy to push the task to the endpoints. Once the update has been pushed to those clients, the scan will be performed on the schedule that you configured. To view the findings of these scans, you can navigate over to Main, Reporting, Discovery, Incidents. On this report, you can see the folder where the data resides, the file name, and which policies the data matched. At the bottom, you can see the details of the data that was found, as well as details about the files such as the full file path, the file owner, and the action. Thanks for watching this Forcepoint Tech Talk episode where we were able to create an endpoint discovery task using the Forcepoint DLP endpoint solution. Please hit that like button and subscribe and feel free to leave us a comment if you have any questions or if you have ideas for another video. See you next time.